Hebra is the all-in-one medical software I've been using to manage my practice. And honestly, it's made day-to-day -day tasks way easier. It combines everything scheduling, billing, patient records, messaging, and more into one smooth system. What I like most is that you can either handle billing yourself or let Tebra match you with one of their trusted billing partners. In this video, I'll walk you through how to actually use Tebra, starting with a dashboard tour so you know where everything island then I'll show you how to check a patient's eligibility, how to create and send messages, how to collect patient payments, even with saved cards, how to schedule a new patient appointment, and finally, how to add a new patient into the system. Whether you're just getting started with Tebra or trying to make the most of it, this will help you hit the ground running. They don't do the billing directly, but they help you find someone who fits your specialty and size, which is great if you're a smaller or growing practice. It's easy to use, even for new staff. Most things are intuitive, and there's a full training library called Tebra University if you want to dive deeper. I've found that basic tasks like scheduling appointments, checking eligibility, or collecting payments take just a few clicks. The claims tracking is one of the best parts, real-time updates, color-coded alerts, and built-in claim scrubbing help make sure you're getting paid faster and with fewer errors. Pricing depends on how you're using it. There's a monthly cost per provider, a setup fee, and some extras if you're doing e-prescribing. If you use their managed billing option, you'll pay a percentage of collections, and that includes full access to their suite of tools. One of the easiest ways to save time is by using text shortcuts. Instead of typing the same instructions or diagnoses repeatedly, you can create abbreviations that instantly expand into full phrases or templates. This keeps your communication consistent and helps avoid typos. You can also set up custom templates for documentation, which ensures that your notes follow a consistent structure, reduces the risk of missing important details, and helps train new team members more easily. To prevent losing work, Tebra automatically saves your progress after a short period of inactivity, switching sections, or when something is submitted. Always check the auto-save timestamp and use version history if you need to go back to a previous version. For appointment scheduling, Tebra offers drag-and-drop tools, color-coded calendars, and recurring appointment settings. You can also send automatic reminders and fill canceled slots with waitlisted patients to avoid gaps in your schedule. Keyboard shortcuts make navigation faster, saving, printing, switching views, and searching becomes quicker with a few key presses. Combine these tools with smart dashboard customization and browser bookmarks to streamline your daily routine even more. When you open the Tebra desktop application, PM, you'll land on the main dashboard. Think of it as your home base. From here, you can get to everything else in the system depending on your role and permissions. If there's anything you can't access that you think you should, talk to your system administrator. The dashboard is designed to make your day-to-day -day tasks easier. At the top, there's a menu bar where you'll find a full list of options. Right below that is a toolbar with shortcuts to the most commonly used features, saving you time. On the left side, you'll see a navigation pane with quick links to your most used functions and a list of any windows you currently have open. In the main practice home window, you'll find several useful tools. There's a visual workflow showing the key steps for your role, helping guide your tasks. You can also switch between the payment velocity gauge and charts that display either A, R, aging, or income analysis, whichever is most relevant for you. The system also creates a to-do list automatically tailored to your role to help keep you on track with what needs to be done. And finally, the dashboard includes key performance indicators so you can easily monitor the financial and operational health of the practice. Overall, the dashboard brings everything together in one place so you can move through your tasks smoothly and stay on top of what matters. Now we will see how to check patient eligibility. To begin, log in to the Tebra desktop application. 
From the main dashboard, go to the section where you manage patient records. Search for the patient whose eligibility you want to check by entering their name or ID. Once you're in the patient's profile, look for the Eligibility or Insurance Eligibility option. This is typically under their Insurance or Billing section. Clicking on this option will prompt the system to begin the eligibility check. Tebra will then connect with the patient's insurance provider in real time. After a few moments, you'll see a report showing whether the patient is currently eligible for coverage, along with important details like coverage type, copay amounts, and any limitations or plan-specific notes. If the system can't retrieve the data automatically, there might be an alert or message indicating what needs to be fixed, like missing insurance info or a date of service. Always double-check the patient's insurance details are up to date before running the check again. Once the eligibility status appears, you can either save it in the system or print it for reference during the appointment. This helps avoid any billing surprises later. Now, let's see how to collect patient payment. To collect a patient payment in Tebra, start by going to the dashboard and clicking on the patient's appointment. Open the appointment card, then click More Options and choose Collect Payment. This will bring up the payment screen where you can verify the patient's details and view any outstanding balances or unapplied payments. The system will automatically fill in the full account balance, but you can change the amount if needed. If you want to add a note for internal use, you can do that too. Choose how the patient is paying credit card, cash, or check. If you're using a card, you can either select one already on file or enter a new one. You also have the option to save the new card for future use by downloading or sending the credit card authorization form. Once everything looks good, click Process Transaction to charge the card or click Finalize Payment to just record the payment. You'll then be shown a confirmation screen. If needed, you can go back to make changes or generate an itemized receipt. When you're ready, click Submit Payment and the receipt page will appear. You can print the receipt or email a general version to the patient. Keep in mind that full itemized details are only available on printed receipts. Payments processed through Tebra show up as unapplied until they're officially applied in the desktop application. Now, let's see how to create message. Setting up direct messaging in Tebra is a one-time process that allows your practice to securely send patient referrals and other protected health information PHI, to other verified providers. To begin, create a clinical note as usual. Then click on Care Coordination and select Send Referral. When the referral window opens, click Send Message. This will prompt you to set up direct messaging through Updocs. If it's your first time, you'll be asked to create a domain name for your practice. Just type the practice name without spaces, then create a username. After that, the system will require a one-time authentication by a legal representative of the practice. For authentication, you'll need to complete an Updocs enrollment form. This includes your practice name, EIN, healthcare category, business address, and personal info of the authorized representative, including either NPI or SSN. You'll also enter a phone number and receive a call with a confirmation code. Enter that code and confirm your identity. Once submitted and approved, your practice is set up, and any provider in the office can send direct messages moving forward. If there's an error, the system will let you know what to fix. Now, let's see how to schedule patient appointment A. To schedule a new patient appointment in Tebra, start by opening the calendar and selecting the date you want. Click on New Appointment, then double click the time slot that works best. A new appointment window will open. Begin typing the patient's name and select it from the list. If the patient isn't in the system yet, choose the option to create a new patient record. Next, choose the reason for the visit and adjust the time duration if needed. If it's a telehealth visit, switch the mode from in-office to telehealth. You can also pick the service location if your practice has more than one. 
Add any notes you want to include with the appointment. These will also show up in the clinical note if your practice uses that feature. If you're sending intake forms, choose whether to send them by email or text. Make sure the patient's contact info is correct. Confirm which provider, staff, room, or equipment is needed for the visit. Their availability will show, so you know if there's a conflict or if the time is outside working hours. If your practice uses Tebra's billing features, review the patient's balance, insurance info, copay, and eligibility status. You can also check or view a report right from the appointment window. Once everything looks good, click Save Appointment. If your practice collects payments up front and you're scheduling a self-pay patient, click Save and Collect Payment to move straight to the payment screen. Let's see how to add a new patient in Tebra. To add a new patient in Tebra, start by typing the first few letters of the patient's name or their date of birth into the search bar at the top of the screen. If no matching results appear, click the link to create a new patient record. This will open the Create Patient page. Enter the patient's basic details including first name, last name, date of birth, sex, and mobile phone number. You can also click Show More to add a home or work phone number if needed. As you enter this information, Tebra will automatically check for possible duplicate records using the name, date of birth, or phone number. If a duplicate warning appears, hover over the listed names to review the details and make sure you're not creating a duplicate record. Once you've verified that it's a new patient, continue filling in the information and save the record. Be sure to include the patient's full address and email to avoid delays in sending communications, forms, or billing statements. Overall, I'd say Tebra is a solid pick if you're a smaller practice that wants to modernize without spending forever learning new software. It's not perfect, sometimes it runs a bit slow, and customer support can be hit or miss, but it does what I need it to do, and it's made managing the business side of my practice a lot easier.